Hey guys, it's Liz. Um, today is the 2nd of July, 2011. Um, I'm checking in for my week 45 post-op lap band. Um, yeah, I just thought that I would do uh, a bit of a body shot, well not just a bit of a body shot, a full body shot video today because I haven't really done like a full body shot for a while now and um yeah sorry I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious at the moment because I'm wearing practically nothing uh I probably wouldn't wear these bikinis in public because I just don't feel comfortable in them the way my body is at the moment but I'd like to have this video as kind of um a way to look back and see what they used to look like on me because at the moment it's winter in Australia and um, I'd kind of like to think that I'd be able to wear these one day or maybe even um, this summer so anyway um, I'll give you my numbers I'm gonna put them below in um, in pounds because I hate doing the conversions in the video. So I started out at 113.9 kilos uh, for my two week pre-op diet on the 6th of August 2010. Last week I was 73.9 kilos. This week I am 73.1 which is a 0.8 kilo loss and it brings my total loss to 40.8 kilos. Uh, this week I've been like super 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 accountability this has been my meal plan I put it up on Facebook um, and then I took photos of every single thing on the plan for a whole week and I'm gonna put them in a little video um, just to recap my week for you guys that aren't on Facebook uh, I found this really really helpful to have every single meal uh, planned out so I don't try and eat more than what I need to eat because that's my main problem I will just like eat whenever I'm very unstructured unless I have something like this so this has been so valuable and uh, I recommend that if you're in a stall to set up some sort of meal plan for three one cup meals a day uh, a water a minimum water intake level and you know um, exercise as well my exercise hasn't been that great this week as you can see anyway I'll just tell you I on Saturday last week I went for a 20 minute run did the same thing sorry you can't see me did the same thing on Sunday then I did weight training on Monday I had a rest day on Tuesday then I did Biggest Loser uh, Biggest Loser fat burning yoga which killed me and it killed my muscles and then I didn't do anything Thursday or Friday or today which is Saturday so exercise uh, ever since my gym membership has run out my exercise has gone downhill and I can't afford to join a gym at the moment because I'm paying off my car blah 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 so yeah um, exercise is not great at the moment but anyway let's get this body shot over and done with oh I got my hair cut today it's like pixie short like I've never had it this short in my life I've never had short hair like this so I'm feeling very very self-conscious and oh, gross at the moment um so yeah let's get the body shot done I was 72.9 kilos this morning and this is my this is my body at the moment uh, I, it probably looks a hell of a lot better on camera than it actually is I'm start. I'm starting to get like definition in my mu in my back. But um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad like this. But you can't really see how gross this skin is. I still have this like this pouch thing, and I get the feeling that this isn't going to go away. I have like a line and so with the pants pulled up it doesn't look too bad like you can't really see the line but you can see all my scars and everything like my actual surgery scar is still really like quite obvious 
and all my stretch marks and all that. But, um, I mean, I must say that I think I'm lucky. Uh, I shouldn't complain about my body because I have um, a lot less loose skin than a lot of other people end up having. So I shouldn't complain about it because it's not that bad. But anyway, this is the skin and fat that's left over. At the moment I am like 20, a couple of weeks ago I was like 28 point something percent fat, body fat. And this morning I was 27.9, no, I was 28.2% body fat, now I'm 27.9. So like, I'm still thinking that like, my body fat is like that last 7% is what I need to lose. Uh, and even I think even when I get to the go my goal of 70 kilos, I will probably try and keep losing until I actually get to 20% body fat because um, that would be ideal for me. But yeah, um, this is basically what I want to show you, my, myself and, um, and everyone else who wants to know what my body looks like, uh, 40, how many weeks am I? 45 weeks post-op. I keep like popping up and you can't see me. Um, so yeah, I still have fat. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but that's like fat still. And once I lose that, then I'm all good. I'll be happy. Um, is there anything else I needed to show you? Don't think so. I was going to show you like my old measurement, like um, Becca did in her video. I was going to show my original waist measurement, but I don't have a measuring tape, so it's not going to be any use. Um. Do I have anything else I wanted to share? I don't think I did. I can't really think of anything. This always happens though. I make a video and then I watch it and then I realise how much I've left out. Oh, um, non-scale victory. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'm actually starting to get abs. Well, not abs, but I've got an indent here now. It kind of like indents in. Can you see that line? That is like a major non-scale victory for me. I don't think I've ever had any sort of definition in my stomach area but there is a line and you can get like a shadow and you can see this line now and it's like oh my god I kind of have abs but um yeah anyway let's see if I can show you my my ribs Gee, this is fun. Okay, <laughs> I think you're all sick of seeing my half-naked body now. Um, but anyway, this is for my accountability. I want to see what I looked like. See, I'm, I've got like hangover here. This is this is what I could not. I don't think I could go to the beach like with this sort of stomach in these sort of bathers. I'm happy to wear like a tankini, but one day I want to be able to wear like show my stomach. You know. So anyway, the plan is next summer I will I will be able to wear a bikini and not feel self-conscious. So anyway, that's all I have. Anyway, I wanted to show my hair because I can't see it. I can't see it um from a mirror. So I want to like do a shot of my hair for myself. So it's so short. It's so short. It feels like boys' hair. I don't know how if it looks funny or anything. Oh, it feels so short. I'll get used to it. Really, the like, the main reason I cut it all off is because I'm losing my hair. I mean, like, so much hair. I lose so much hair, and it's kind of like just cut it all off, and then there's less hair. And I did this before, and it kind of thickened out a little bit from having it cut. So I'm hoping the same thing will happen. So anyway, that is my week 45. I'll be checking in next week. Thank you for watching and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.